Hi, this is Bobby from the Vespasian Warner Public Library District, and I'm here with another tale from the archive where we talk about objects and documents from our local history collection. If you come into our library and go to our local history section, which is located on the main floor, you will find numerous histories of Dewitt County published in different time periods that are full of wonderful information. But today I'm going to talk about this specific one that was published by the Lorry Company in 1955 because it is a little bit unique compared to all the others. So as you can see on this main title page, this was number nine in a series and reading the introduction and acknowledgements, the Lorry Company planned on making a, a pictorial history of every county in Illinois and eventually hoping to do the entire country of more than 3,000 counties. As far as I know, they did succeed in Illinois. I don't know if they did all of the counties in the country, but we are just going to be talking about DeWitt County. So like most of the histories, it has a brief synopsis of the history of the county. It has maps, but what sets this one apart are the illustrations are all aerial photography. And these were all done in the 1950s, so they give a wonderful snapshot of what DeWitt County looked like in 1955. So of course it goes through all of the cities we know, you know Clinton and Wapella and Waynesville, but it also does these other little hamlets and settlements, some of which no longer really exist. This is Tabor, which had a population of 36 at the 1950 census, and you'll see it's on the railroad. With many of them, they were just little settlements along the railroad. So here we have another one called Rowell, I assume that's how it's pronounced, with its population of 40, that I believe would be generously called a wide spot in the road. And I would love to have the time to go out and actually compare what these pictures look like to what they look like today. But after it goes, here you see Waynesville and Solomon. After it goes through all of the uh, towns in the county, it does country churches. And further on, schools. And some of these schools, um, such as the DeWitt School, no longer exist. So it's really interesting and fun to see what they looked like then. And the majority of the book is actually individual farms. So these are all of the farmhouses in DeWitt County in 1955, listed alphabetically by the owner's last name. And it tells which township or which town they're in. So if you have a farmhouse that you live in now, and you know previous owner's name, the owner in the 1950s, you can come into the library and see what it would have looked like then. And this book does not circulate. That means you can't check it out and take it with you. But um, it is in our local history section. So if you're interested, you are welcome to come in and look at it here in the library. You can take pictures with your phone, or you can make photocopies of it with our copy machine. So thank you for joining me for this tale from the archive, and I hope to see you soon.